Hey guys, welcome back as we continue to crack on with our 150 Psalms in 150 days. Today we are on Psalm 65, so you're going to need to crack out your Bible. Um, and if you want to, read along with me. If not, then you can just sit and let the words soak over you um, as I read it to you now. So it's Psalm 65. Uh, let's get straight into it. Praise awaits you, O God, in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. You who answers prayer, to you all people will come. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds. God, our saviour, the hope of all the ends of the earth and for the farthest seas who form the mountains by your power. Having armed yourself with strength, who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. The whole earth is filled with all your wonders. Every morning dawns where evening fades. You call forth songs of joy. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with corn, for so you have ordained it. You drench its furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with your bounty and your cart overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the wilderness overflow. The hills are clothed with gladness. The meadows are covered with flocks and the valleys are mantled with corn. They shout for joy and sing. I love this psalm. It is such a beautiful, rich psalm. I don't know about you, but... As I was reading it, it came to the end of it, I thought, man, I need to get outside. I need to go for a walk. I need to enjoy this beautiful, rich creation that God has made for us. This is a psalm that is written by David. And you probably will have noticed that actually David didn't mention anything about being, you know, um, in turmoil or hunted down by other people. But in fact, he just spent the whole of this psalm kind of praising and giving giving yet yeah, praise to a God that brings about hope. You might recognise this psalm as being said around the time of harvest. Um, it is known as kind of the, the harvest psalm um, because it talks of God's abundance, God's, God's, God's blessing on, on their harvest at the time. It talks about so much of what God did do you know, he brought about the he's brought about the rains for our harvest and he has been good. But there's going to be bigger rains to come. There's going to be bigger things to come. There's going to be an even greater harvest to come. A bigger hope. And that's a hope that I can get on board with. That's a hope that we see in Jesus as well. There is something bigger to come. He is coming back. It's such a beautiful, rich psalm. And, and, and when we're praying it, 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 it kind of splits itself into three sections that we can use to pray and three really helpful sections that we can, we can use. The first is it kind of shows us a posture that we take as we come to God. These first one verses one to five show us that, that he is a God who forgives. He is a God who um, listens to our prayers when we come to him. So let's come to him. Come to him. Seek forgiveness because he will forgive. He will listen. This is how we need to approach God in our prayers. And then the second section, verses five to verses eight, shows of his power, shows of his might, shows that he is a God that does something. He is a God that rises up, that calms the storms, that calms the waves. The earth is filled with his awe and wonder. He isn't the God that stays silent so we can come to him with our petitions and and with our prayers to see his kingdom burst forth in wonder. And then finally, it, it moves in in this third section, nine to 13, into a into a psalm of praise and thanksgiving of his abundance and of his hope of the things that are to come, of those rains that are to come. And it calls us to be thankful thankful for what he's done in our lives, thankful for what he's going to do in our lives, thankful for the abundance that he, is, that he has given us. So this morning, 
or this afternoon or this evening, whenever you read and watch this video, I encourage you to reread this psalm and then pause after each of the third sections. And for the first one, just spend some time in that posture, seeking forgiveness, speaking to God, because he is a God that listens and wants to answer our prayers. And in that second section, bring to him that stuff that you want to see him move in, where you want to see his kingdom coming in your life, in your life around you, in the life of those around you, in Leeds, wherever it may be. And then finally, in that third section, just give shouts of joy and praise to a God that wants to abundantly bless us for the things that are to come. So guys, let it call forth songs of joy in your heart today. Thank you.